All right, what's up, trolls and girls? And we got TCAP23 here, finally. We're going to cover three individuals, uh, Kevin Bernstein, NDO103, and The Brick Boy 103 You know, this episode turned out pretty insane. The farther we go into it, you, the more you're going to be like, what the fuck, man? But we're going to start with Kevin Bernstein. You're on deck, buddy. TCAP23, we ride one more time. A uh, less a uh, fucking uh, go. Kevin Bernstein, who already tipped twenty five dollars, says he will match anyone who does fifty. So if someone does a fifty dollar tip, he says he will match it. I believe him. He tipped me earlier today as well. So if anyone was looking to contribute tonight, he says if you do fifty, he'll match it with fifty. There you go. So this is one of his first times in the chat, and he immediately knows how to get his master's attention, and that's with money. But apparently Kevin Bernstein thinks this is a political race or something because he's willing to match anyone's donation dollar for dollar. And now that we're in campaign season, it made me think of those annoying ass text messages. And I know y'all been getting these too recently. Donate $40 and it'll get matched by 40%. Well, if you already got the 400%, what the fuck do you need my little $40 for? And it's the same thing here. If you're going to throw money away on this guy, just give it to him. What do you need other people to bankrupt themselves for, Timbo? Fucking idiot. Next one's a clip. So I liked it, and by the way, I will be playing it again tomorrow. Another, whoa, another two hours. Put this down before I jump off the clip. Another two hours tomorrow, and uh, there'll be a major stream of it over the weekend, and then likely after that, maybe one more stream, and we'll wrap it up if it really is as short as people are saying. I guess we'll find out, okay? Spork Fork What the Fark did a super chat. See, I'm worried one guy did almost all the tips tonight. Listen. I appreciate it, Kevin Bernstein. I really do. Um, and I'm definitely appreciating the fact that, that Kevin is coming to streams and he's doing super chats and tips and everything. So thank you so much for that. Um, and, uh, okay, so he's asking, how long do you think I'll take to, to, to speed run this game? Oh, wow, that's actually an interesting question. A game like this? To speed run it? I bet. Yeah, let's make sure we change that subject real quick. This guy's a fucking scumbag, man, but... Somebody in chat says, quote, I'm worried one guy did all the tips tonight, unquote. And for most normal functioning humans, that would be a major concern, but not for the Fuhrer here. He doesn't care if you bankrupt yourselves multiple times, as long as he can get that sweet, sweet money. I mean, have fun on stream. Sorry about that, Phil. And by the way, that's the same stream from the first clip, meaning Kevin Dumbass had already given $25, said he would match 50 no one gave, and he still did the 50 anyways. There was also a $10 tip that night, and I'll give you one guess on who it was. That means he was responsible for every single dollar tip that night. Gee, Phil, I wonder why you wanted to change the subject again. Next one's a clip, a less a go. How much does Jasper drink a day? I wouldn't know. I don't track Jasper's drinking, but I fill up his bowls basically every other day. I wipe out clean and refill his water bowls. So, he has two of them. A combat challenge. Shout out to Kevin Bernstein, who just hit me $5. I don't know why people charge back. Do they know they're, they're committing fraud and can go to jail for it? I think they feel that anything that they do on the internet, they're immune. Like, they don't have any repercussions for what they do on the internet. You know what I mean? Uh, in this particular case, this was someone who apparently was banned earlier today. I don't know why. I don't know the situation. They claimed they were innocent. So, they sent me an email at, at like 1.15 when I was streaming. And then I went on break around 2.30, and I was relaxing on my bed, and then come like 2.45, I opened up my email again, and I get the email from 1.15 complaining they got banned, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll look into it and unban them. I got a second email just then when I was laying on the bed, and it says, oh, never mind, scumbag. And then all of a sudden, they charge back every tip they ever gave me for like the last month, and it's like, I was going to look into it, and I was going to possibly unban them. I mean, they're incredibly stupid. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, like, how dumb can you be? I don't know, Phil. That sounds like a good Samaritan to me. Praise be to that good Samaritan, and you get what you deserve, my very good friend. But he also said he cleans and refills Jasper's water twice a day. Motherfucking X to doubt that bullshit. This dude's so lazy. Do you really think he's doing that twice a day? And by the way, what does your part-time wife do around there all day, Phil? He makes it seem like she doesn't do shit, and he's the one constantly running around and doing everything. Sure thing, buddy. But then our friend Kevin Subhuman tips and says, quote, 
I don't know why people charge back. Do they know they're committing fraud and can go to jail for it? Unquote. Phil then says he thinks that people think they can do anything they want on the internet and there's no repercussions for it. Well, gee, Phil, that sounds exactly like your day-to-day life, buddy. What a coincidence. And then we get this picture here. This was closer to when he first got into DSP's chat. And this also gives away that he's LARPing and that he's been around before. Because he immediately singles out Snow Carl since DSP was upset at Snow Carl during this time. And then another good Samaritan set up a Carl invasion. Wink, wink. But he tags Snow Carl here and says, You remind me of my son. He was also on a wheelchair too. The Shawn Michaels-ness of that statement. But then he tags Snow Bob and says, Like I said before, I like Carl. He reminds me of my son, who was also on a wheelchair. Oh, and by the way, DSP, how come you didn't ban him or time him out? What happened to you can't make fun of other stream chatters and you're a proud ally and all that other bullshit? Almost seems like you're a lying ass fuck boy. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just save up then. Alright guys, great stream again. No story progress. We unlocked the ability to befriend cats ar around the town. And then we did a ridiculous amount of school stories. Focusing mostly on this robotics club for now. But it looks like there's two more school uh, clubs that can open up at this point. So thank you guys very much. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for the support. It was much appreciated. Hope you guys liked all the new decorations and everything. It was a very chill time. I had a good time with all of you. Oh, I missed a super chat. Kevin Bernstein did a super chat. Can I do member giveaways? What exactly would I do as a member giveaway? I don't have anything to give away. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what you mean. Like, what, what on earth would I do as a member giveaway? Big Papa Phil said, fun stream. The game is chill fun. I agree with you. So a guy that's literally giving you thousands of dollars at this point, ask if you can do a member giveaway. And this penis built looking motherfucker says he doesn't have anything to give away and makes it seem like it's a ridiculous question. His Wakanda is full of shit. A bunch of junk he's never going to use again, stuff he doesn't need, and hundreds of games that he won't ever play again. But he doesn't have anything he can give away. Something tells me though, if he needed their help, he probably wouldn't accept that answer. And he would just ban him for making excuses. Eh, maybe. Next one's a clip. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I can get those headphones in the app. Maybe December we'll do that. We'll change up the rewards tier goals for tips. That would sound like a good idea to me. Okay. Wow. Deus, Deus Shadow 1603 says, Doesn't Bose have something like those headphones? Oh yeah, I'm sure Bose does. Do you know how expensive Bose headphones are? So $800 headphones. No, I'm not. The ones I'm getting are Hori headphones from the same company that makes, you know, controller accessories, joysticks, and they're 100 bucks. That's what I'm getting. Oh, let's see here. Kevin Bernstein tipped me $1.50. He says, you and PewDiePie are similar. YouTube will always survive and be relevant in the gaming world. PewDiePie is like your junior. Whatever you say. <laughs> Whatever you say. The way I see it is PewDiePie is definitely relevant to a, in a comedy aspect and an entertainment aspect. I don't know how you could say he's relevant in like a gaming aspect. When was PewDiePie ever judged as a good authority on games or anything? He was always a jokester. He was always like a, like a clownish character. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. He geared himself to be that, you understand? Now he's changed his formula up and he feels like he's more of a different kind of guy. But look what he does. He makes drama videos. He's fucking insulting me five and a half years after the fact. It's like, you see... I don't think anyone looked at him as, oh, he's a guru of gaming who I need to trust his, his opinions and shit on gaming. You, you want to laugh, you go watch PewDiePie, right? That's what he's for. He's for a good laugh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. He's a good entertainer, right? People enjoy watching him, and you get a good laugh, a smile on your face, you go watch PewDiePie. So there's nothing wrong with that, but for me, people tune into me for different reasons, and it's certainly not for the reasons they tune into PewDiePie. <laughs> no, Phil, people tune into you to laugh as well. The difference is they're usually laughing with PewDiePie and normally they're just laughing at you because it's a fucking train wreck. This idiot also had the nerve to say that PewDiePie does nothing but make drama videos. Does he also do streams where he shops for new TVs, begs his viewers to pay for it, and then magically gets some kind of payment plan? Which means he didn't need all that money up front in the first place? Somehow I don't think PewDiePie does that, Phil. Earlier in the clip someone asked him about Bose headphones. And he's so worried and concerned about how expensive they are. Like he's just not going to withdraw the money from his human ATMs. Give me a fucking break. 
Kevin Bernstein did a $2 tip. He said, PewDiePie apologizes for what he says about you. Would you be willing to do a collab with him? What would I collab with him? He doesn't even do anything anymore. Like, literally, what I've heard is all he does is drama videos. Like, that's what he likes to do. Oh, gaming news. It's not news, it's drama. That's all he does. He doesn't even, like, want to play games or anything anymore. You know? He comes out of his cave every once in a while to do a promotional video he probably got paid to do. So, what on earth would I collab with him on? No, I don't even see what the purpose of that would be. It's certainly, you know, don't see what the, you know, again, if there was if there was something to actually collab with someone with that made sense, sure. I couldn't even foresee something that we would collab together that would make any sense. Just being honest, okay? <clears throat> and what perfect timing with this clip. Since there's nothing out there for you to collab with PewDiePie, how about you let him interview you, Phil? Let's see what he has to say to you. And let's see you say all these things to him personally. Since you're such a big, tough talker here. He then says that he wouldn't collab with them again because PewDiePie doesn't do shit anymore except drama videos. Okay, you fucking children's entertainer. But then he says PewDiePie comes out of his cave every once in a while to do some promotional work. As opposed to never leaving your cave in the first place. Because you're scared to run into anybody in real life. You mean like that? You fucking idiot. Alright, we got about 10-20 minutes I can play this, I guess. No, Ke Kevin, dude. Kevin, you tipped me a gi ginormous amount when I played Monkey Ball. You should never, ever, ever, I mean this, I want to say this to everyone tonight. Don't ever apologize to me. If you're on a stream, you're liking the stream, and you can't contribute. I never want to hear a single person say to me, Phil, I'm sorry I can't contribute tonight. You never have to be sorry. Never. That's ridiculous. If and when you want to contribute, if you can, please do. But don't ever feel bad if you can't. I mean, Kevin, you literally just dropped a giant tip the other day. What was it, yesterday? I, why on earth would I be, be upset or, you know? Dude, don't even. Seriously. I'm, a, I'm embarrassed that you even said that. <laughs> I really am. <clears throat> By the way, guys, since I am going to be around for about another 15 minutes, you know, last chance if you want to contribute tonight at this point. I'm throwing in the towel. I'm not going to mention it again after now. Uh, I really do appreciate those who did. Sucks because I definitely could have used some more help for tomorrow. Now, basically, I don't even know. I'm going to have to skimp, I guess. Nothing you can do about it. Um, I do appreciate those who did chill with me tonight. Not every night's going to be a winner. You know what I mean? And that's fine. But, you know, again, like someone like Kevin, you never have to apologize, dude. Never, all right? We're all good. Okay. So, yeah. let's beat his ass in Virtua Fighter. Gee, Phil, I wonder why he's apologizing and feeling sorry for you since he can't tip. This is a perfect example of what you do and why people can't stand you. Those clips were 90 seconds apart. And if you don't believe me, search them up on Pig Pig Go. Oh, Kevin, I'm embarrassed that you even had to say that. Don't ever feel bad, man. Too. 90 seconds later. Now, guys, I'm throwing in the towel here. I'm not going to be able to afford all my groceries. And I'm going to have to skimp tomorrow. This really sucks. I wish there was something I could do about it. Hint, hint. Meanwhile, he spends about $2,000 a month on average on WWE Champions alone. And that doesn't even count all the other mobile games that nobody knows about. Like I always say, you get what you fucking deserve. No simpy. Next one's a clip. Ready, Kevin, go. you're doing a super chat now. You're screaming about the fucking hat and vest. Did I not talk about it on stream or were you not here? Like seriously. I was sweating profusely. My back right now is completely soaked in sweat. I'm trying to play an incredibly difficult game. Maybe for once just relax for a fucking second and allow me to try to beat this very, 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 very difficult stage and stop screaming about the hat and vest and relax and have a good time with the stream. The content of the stream is not man in hat and vest. It's Phil playing games. All right, relax. I don't know why you're so hot and bothered about no hat and vest. This is not the hat and vest hour. This is Phil playing an incredibly tough monkey ball game and doing his absolute best to try to beat this stage legit. And not skip it, Fall right? <laughs> Ready, Holy crap! I don't. I really. I mean, just being honest here, I don't know what the big deal is. Like, I always wear the hat and vest every stream when it's earned, right? Every stream, I, I wear it. Today, I'm making an exception because I was completely covered in sweat. And this is like the third Ready, super chat you've done screaming about the hat and vest. Like, what is going on with you? Why are you being like this? I don't get it. I, I you know, it'd be nice to have an answer. Like, what's going on with you? You're, you're freaking out here tonight. And now I can't even look. Now I can't even concentrate. Ready? Now I seriously can't even fucking concentrate on the stage, all right? Now relax. Fucking relax. What do you even say, man? It's two immature, brain-dead fucking idiots going back and forth 
because one doesn't want to wear a vest and a hat and the other is insisting he puts on a vest and a hat. And by the way, if you don't want to wear the vest, Phil, then maybe you shouldn't have it as a fucking reward. It's not rocket science. But then again, it tells you exactly what people think of your content when you have to rely on gimmicks to get them to give you money. It's pathetic. And then you try to sneak this little line in there. I always wear the hat and vest every stream when it's earned. Think about that statement for a second. I always wear the hat and vest every stream when it's earned. If that doesn't sum up how delusional he is, I don't know what does. Let's go to the next clip and don't worry because we're not done yet. Yo, Kevin, you're still doing this. Dude, Kevin. Okay. I'm going to be real with you. You got to fucking calm down. You seriously have to calm down now. You're the only person in the entire stream who's bothered right now. You're the only one. You gotta relax. Ready? Fall out. Ready? Go. Shooter McGavin did a super chase. What's the point of a hat and vest was gonna get scammed? All right, Shooter McGavin, you're banned. Do you think you can call me a scammer? You can get banned immediately and not come back ever. Goodbye. That's how you feel. Goodbye. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And Shooter McGavin, get your fucking ass out of my chat, you piece of shit. This is your fan base, Phil. This is your fan base. People just harassing him all the time. His own fucking fans harassing him half the time. Gee, Phil, I wonder why all this shit happens to you. It's almost like you deserve it, buddy. You take advantage of all these people, and the shit always comes back to bite you in the ass. Perfection. Oh, and we're still not done yet. Uh, hey, if Kevin got banned, I didn't do it, but dude, he just wouldn't have fucking let up all night. It's ridiculous. It's like, you ask a question, I answer it legit. Okay, I'm gonna harp on that all fucking night. It's like, dude, if you're not happy, just leave, right? If you're not happy with the stream, take off. Don't sit here and be negative on the stream constantly the whole night. And it sucks because Kevin's a positive guy and he's a supporter, but I'm not. He's ridiculously bad tonight. Like ridiculous negativity. Fall out. Ready? I don't know why the hell he's being like that either, right? Quote. And it sucks because Kevin's a positive guy and a supporter, but he's ridiculously bad tonight. Like ridiculous negativity. Unquote. Him asking you to put on a hat and vest that you were paid to do is somehow ridiculous negativity. Well, gee, Phil, what's your idea of ridiculous positivity? Somebody bankrupting themselves multiple times? Just so you can say, oh, my streams are positive and we have fun and you guys love this? Or how about another fucking loser that clearly has nothing else in their life? And they give you $25,000 over a two-year span under hundreds of fake names. Literally hundreds. Or how about another person that loses their wife and gets a boatload of insurance money and somehow tries to replace that loss in their life with you by giving you an allowance every day like you're their fucking child? Is that how you would describe ridiculous positivity? Because to me, it sounds like a fucked up individual taking advantage of other fucked up individuals. But I guess that's what DSP gaming is nowadays. Now let's look at some screenshots and wrap up Kevin fucking Bernstein. All right, in this screenshot, he says... Okay, guys, this time for sure I'm going to tip and support and carry the streams. And then he tags DSP and says, I'm going to be tipping right now. Next picture. We then get an anonymous tip of $20. Gee, I wonder who that could possibly be. He then says, I need to use Anonymous as the name. Somebody then named Kevin's back says, it definitely wasn't Kevin. I'm not hurting at all right now. But then if you look down at the bottom, Kevin says, Company credit card. Next picture. Somebody then says, company credit card? Jesus, Kevin. Brandon then says, you realize that if it was you, then you just unanonymized the tip by announcing it. Somebody named Todd then says, let's all, watch, let's all go watch Game Trekker stream instead, since Phil is playing Game Trekker's way and not his own. Clyde then says, Kevin tipping with the company card, LOL. So even the other subhumans are laughing at you, Kevin. But then Ghost says, wait a minute, isn't Kevin the guy who turned OIC into a detractor? 
And the answer, ghost, is a no. Phil did that all by himself. Next picture. Kevin then says, yeah, I can't let them know that I'm the one using the credit. There's a limit on it. Nico then says, can people stop talking about Brandon? I came to watch a stream, not because someone got punished in the chat. And don't worry, quote unquote, Nico. I got my eye on you, buddy. And I've noticed before your name multiple times when huge tip nights end up happening. Just something to keep an eye out for. But then Wiley Coyote says, Kevin has been laundering money through DSP gaming shell companies for years. Clyde then says, Kevin, that's illegal. Junko is love says, wow, Kev using company money to tip. Not cool, mate. Skis TV then says, Kevin tipping using his DoorDash red card. <laughs> Next picture. Skis TV also says, just sign up for a new credit card every time you max out the previous one. And Kevin, if you need advice on that, you're definitely in the right place, buddy. Just get Chicken Man, Phil Smokes Crack, or Timbo Slice on the line, and any one of those three guys can help you. And if he's unavailable, just tag DSP Gaming and get some pointers from him, because he's good at it. Next picture. Kevin then says, as long as it's not over $250 per purchase, I'm fine. Clyde then says, but it's a company card. You're spending it on other stuff. And Clyde, shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to an adult like Kevin that way, you piece of shit. Philip Jordan Baxter then says, but Kevin, you can buy so many other stuff, bro. But then Junko is love says, using that company card for the thoughts too, I bet. Eh, Kev? You're playing with fire, mate. But then Fernando, with probably the comment of the fucking night, says, they said they don't mind supporting another business. <laughs> And can we please get some prayer hands in the chat for Kevin's company, for stepping up and supporting other small businesses out here like Burnell Enterprises or PP Productions or whatever the fuck he calls himself. We then wrap up this picture with Mint who says, I hope they don't find out and charge it back. And yes, that would be a shame if Kevin's company, fucking Goodwill or whoever they are, saw some fraudulent charges from PP Productions and charged those bitches back. I don't know how I would be able to sleep at night if that happened. Kevin then replies to Junko and says, they are not thoughts. Junko then replies to someone else and says, I mean, he has said he loves the VTubers. Kevin then replies and says, and I use my own money for the VTubers. So that tells me he's probably spending huge amounts on these girls. And what he spends on DSP, even though it's a lot, is probably pennies in his mind. Which is super fucked up. But then we go to the last two pictures. And these are a few months after the company credit card stuff, but... Kevin says, it's been hard to do it. Still waiting for her to get on VR chat. Been waiting all week trying to catch her. And you picked the right words, Kevin, because you're definitely trying to catch her, you sick fuck. But then Clyde responds and says, that's not how you ideally meet a wife. And you're also going to be alone forever, Clyde, so you shouldn't be giving advice, but you are correct in this case. Next picture. We then finish this up with Melia saying, I'll get on VR chat if I'm invited to your marriage. <laughs> But then Kevin replies to someone else who asked if she was ghosting him and says, I hope not. I've been sending her messages on Twitch and been sending to her Twitter. Now, I really hope this guy is LARPing and he's not actually doing this. But as we've seen with his interactions with DSP, it's very possible that this is real and he really is this demented. You know, look at someone like Slayer or Derek and think to yourself, those people can't possibly be real, but they are. And this is who DSP attracts. This is how he gets by in life with people like this. And I wouldn't wish this on my worst fucking enemy except PP Productions. Because this is what you fucking deserve. And now we move on to the sub subhuman known as NDO. Now the first time I can find him on Pig Pig Go is March of 2017. So he's been around for over five years now. And the fact that he still blindly supports DSP despite all the shit that's been proven about him should tell you everything you need to know about this guy. And trust me, at the end of his section, you'll see how gullible he really is. Well, that's it. I believe I could heal though, right? Can you heal inside? I don't know. Whoa, shout out to NWO103 who just tipped me $100. Thank you, NWO103, for the tip. I appreciate it. And I left those last few seconds in on purpose, just so you can see how much of a reaction his $100 tip got. Fucking crickets. But gee, thanks for the money there, NWO103. 
And that's such a perfect intro into this guy. He's such a loser and just an open wallet to DSP that it doesn't even matter what your name is. And honestly, who can blame DSP for that simple mistake? He probably had WWE champions at the front of his mind there. Or maybe it would have been Supercard back then. Either way, he still needs another variation of NWO Hollywood Hogan. Sound good? Fair enough. I can't find any goddamn Longhorns. It's pissing me off. Whoa, shout out to NDO103 who just tipped me a hundred dollars. Thank you very much, Mason. Happy birthday, DSP. Thank you very much, NDO. I appreciate that, man. Kicks Swagger says throw bait. <clears throat> okay, hold on. So much secondhand embarrassment from watching that clip. Imagine sitting by yourself in a room, celebrating your birthday and blowing a horn. At first I laughed, but the more times I saw that clip, I was just like, this is fucking sad, man. And then to top it off, this is how he celebrates most of his birthdays and major holidays. Let that shit sink in. Next one's a clip. A lot different. You know, I'm not someone who just streams Fortnite every fucking day. I'm a variety streamer who's playing so many different games at one time. I can't 100% be focused on the stream chat at all times. In fact, people have told me they get frustrated when I'm playing a game and I miss something in the game because I'm looking at stream chat or interacting with stream chat. So it's a balance, all right? That's fine. You like 63 other streamers who don't do pre-streams? You're very welcome to go fucking watch them. Um, if really having a segment before the actual uninterrupted gameplay begins is so annoying to you, and you're so impatient that you can't put up with this segment, then feel free to just go watch them. I'm not going to stop you, you know? But I think it's kind of ridiculous that people will not give me any opportunity to talk with you guys without the hindrance of gameplay interfering or to give plugs on my own stream when every other fucking streamer does it. You're full of crap, by the way. A lot of streamers have these segments and constantly advertise and do these things in between everything. So, no, you're not being very uh, too truthful here when you say, I watch 63 other streamers and none of them advertise like you. That's complete nonsense. Okay. Shout out to AES who cheered and said one way that could boost up the number of subscribers and engagement is devoting one day to play multiplayer games with viewers. It brings out trolls. But it will prove the rapport between yourself and the viewers. AES, if I told you, as I've told you, I used to do this. Whenever I used, there used to be a new game with big multiplayer, I used to do it. But sadly, what's happened now is that you got this group of really toxic, uh, and I hate to say it, but just just the crazy people. They follow me around, and they wait, they jump on opportunities like that. Oh my God, Phil's playing a multiplayer game. This is it. Let's all jump in that lobby, fill that lobby with trolls. Can't, he can't turn on voice chat because we'll all be constantly be insulting him and his girlfriend. And then we're going to fucking just troll him in the gameplay and make it worthless. I can't do it. I can't do it, AES. I wanted to do it in the past. And I had to stop doing these fan appreciation lobbies because it just became an insane amount of disgusting toxic toxicity and trolling. And I'm not opening myself up to that again. All right, shout out to Zacco. Who says, really think games with subs viewers would help increase subs? It's possible to avoid trolls. Well, he's saying the same thing that AES said, and I just addressed it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. If anyone has a solution, but the problem is when you do an open lobby where people can just join you in multiplayer, you're going to have that element. And especially because most multiplayer games are competitive team-based games. Like, you know, first-person shooters, you have to have a team of people cooperating, right? It just makes it not manageable and not possible. You know, again, this is something that I used to do all the time until people became so toxic towards me. And then I had to abolish those events because they just don't work anymore. After doing two events where I tried this and the entire of the events was just trolling and nastiness, I said, enough is enough. There's no point in continuing. Ask, oh my goodness, how on earth do I say this? Oscar Durlewinger. Oscar Durlewinger. Whoa. <laughs> Did a 100-bit cheer. And he said something stupid about the toilet running after eating spicy food. I don't know what you're talking about, but thank you for the 100-bit cheer regardless. NDO103, subscribe to the channel for 18 months in a row. Thank you, NDO, for the 18-month support. I do appreciate that. And Zacco cheered again. It's a new webcam, green screen. These things can change things up. New webcam, green screen, and blah, blah, blah. Some things never fucking change, man. But NWO re-ups his 18th month in a row and doesn't say anything. Doesn't ask him to improve anything. He's just the perfect fan for Phil. Gives him money whenever he wants it and shuts his fucking mouth while he does it. But then Phil says, quote, In fact, people have told me that they get frustrated when I'm playing a game and I miss something in the game because I'm looking at stream chat or interacting with stream chat, unquote. 
So whatever happened to those a lot of people, Phil? Because you do that shit all the time now. It's basically all your streamers become. But of course, a lot of people, a.k.a. the Jin, all come out in unison and agree with him at that exact moment when he was making a point. Now this uh, shocks me. But then multiple people start cheering, a.k.a. a lot of people, and ask him to do co-ops or playthroughs with members. And this scumbag goes on a long rant about why he can't do it and makes a bunch of excuses about trolls. Just take a fucking hour and coordinate something with your members that you know are legit fans. Try rewarding them for a change instead of just bitching and complaining and essentially just making excuses all the time. Dude can't lift his finger to do anything. Hey, <laughs> what the hell just happened? There was like four things that happened at once that were all like, whoa, what the fuck, jaw dropping. This guy gets blown away for no reason. My controller turns off and I get a large tip on the stream. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay, so... <laughs> What on earth? So, first of all, Simon says, now says the, uh, the tutorial's two hours long. Oh. All right, I, I gotta say something. All right, I really have to, I have to say something. From now on, ladies and gentlemen, please, if I'm gonna do a marathon, please don't pick games that have two hour intros. This is not going to work. This is a boring, I've already been playing for over 45 minutes. I'm bored to tears. I'm just waiting for a game to start, something to happen. And finally, it looks like I'll be able to do something here. But, like, this is not the kind of game for a marathon. If I'm sitting here for two hours before anything happens, I don't even get through the tutorial. Why am I playing it during a marathon? It doesn't make any sense. So, please stop. I need to ask people, please stop nominating these kind of games. Because all it does is frustrate the people who want to see the game. It frustrates me, and it frustrates the viewer. It frustrates everyone. Everyone's now frustrated. Everyone's frustrated and unsatisfied, right? So let's stop doing this from now on. Okay. NW, uh, NDO103 took me $100. Thank you very much, NDO103. Now, here's the thing. Previously, I got a $100 tip, but it was an anonymous tip. Since you actually gave up your name, I'm going to put NDO up here as the top tipper of the day, because it just makes sense over the anonymous contribution, right? <clears throat> All right, so this gets us to $1,719 for today's stream. Thank you guys very much. We are less than $300 away from hitting the tips goal. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Okay. Another $100 NWO tip with no message. But how fucking ungrateful can you be? He has a $2,000 holiday tips goal up there that's about to be hit, by the way. People already gave him money ahead of time to hit his marathon playthrough goal. And he's sitting there crying because they nominated a game with a long intro slash tutorial. You know what would have been helpful, Phil? If he took an hour before the stream and got all that stuff out of the way in the first place. But of course, that would have took some actual planning or forethought, and that's way too much to ask from this guy. $2,000? That's not too much to ask for, though on top of whatever Patreon or member goal they had to hit just to nominate the fucking game. So the next three clips are going to play back to back to back, like Drake. And when I saw the clips, it made me think about something. Pay attention to the dates on the screen, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. But it's fun. I'm certainly not complaining. I love the amount of side content they put into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, NDO103 just took me one hundred dollars thank you very much to ndo 103 that is superbly generous of you i appreciate that uh, greatly that of course puts us to our tips goal for the stream the vestry continues and the question now guys what vest would you get well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, NDO103, excuse me, oh, fuck, I'm gonna fuck that up. NDO103 to me, $75. That means, guess what? We hit the vestry. Thank you, NDO. Let me get the, up on the leaderboard here, obviously. Thank you so much for the support. <clears throat> oh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> NDO103 just took me $84. NDO103, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I hope that you did that because, you know, you really wanted to be supportive in any keep the street going and not because you felt pressured to do it by all these people in the stream chat going crazy right now i really do appreciate it uh we hit the vest streak because of ndo so thank you ndo we are now at a hundred dollar uh tips for the night
Now means we've hit the best streak. Quote, you didn't have to do that. I hope you did that because you really wanted to be supportive and keep the streak going and not because you felt pressured by all these people in the stream chat going crazy right now. Unquote. The way he passes off the blame to other people never ceases to amaze me. It's not him that cries and complains because they weren't going to hit the tips goal that night. He's not the one that sometimes stretched the stream out by an hour just to make sure the goal was hit. He wasn't the one that panicked and made himself look like a crackhead the night the vest streak ended and sat there off camera for minutes only to turn the stream back on trying to guilt trip someone into sending $100. None of that has anything to do with him. It's the viewer's fault that they're pressuring this fucking loser to tip. The mental gymnastics with this guy are incredible. But the reason I decided to include those three clips is because I wonder if those were really NWO 103 or if that was Superhound taking advantage of this guy's greed. Now, NWO has the money to tip, but that was $259 over an eight-day span. And that's not how NWO normally operates. So he either was really in love with the vest streak for that one week or those were chargebacks. But the Fuhrer didn't care because all he saw was money signs. Again, I'm not really 100% sure which one it was, but it was just something I noticed. Next one's a clip, a less, a go. He's running away. He's like, oh shit, I'm out of here. I just saw that crap, that crap that just happened. <laughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> All right. Well, now Dark Shadow Wizard Dragon wants Snow Carl to come back. Probably not going to happen. NDO 103 just resubscribed for 40 to 8 months. NDO, that is four years of support. Thank you, NDO, for four years of ongoing support. I really do appreciate that so much. Thank you very, very much. So the subhuman subscribes, and it's the 48th month in a row. DSP has to break it down for him that it equals out to four years of support, since NWO probably can't count. But that's a very loyal pay pig, and he's happy to have you around my open wallet. Oops, I mean my very good friend. All right, it looks like I may have gotten a last minute tip here. I got an unverified tip from Michael. Michael, can, who are you? Can you confirm that you tipped me four dollars twenty cents? Because it says it's unverified. It means that they did make a PayPal account, but they didn't link like their bank account information and stuff. But I don't know who Michael is. It just says Michael, so <laughs> I don't know who it is. And King Michael says it wasn't him. No. Yeah, if it's if it's someone who's just generic Michael and they're not in the chat and saying it's them, sorry, you know, I, I can I'm only accepting the, the the verified tips or tips from people who I recognize from stream. And sadly, Michael, as, as much as I'd like to accept your four dollar tip because I need it, well, can I? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm just gonna end up having to refund it. Okay. NDO 103 has resubscribed for 50 months. Thank you, NDO, for 50 months of support. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the resub tonight. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it. Let's save up. That's going to be it for tonight's stream. I do want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I love that fucking clip so much. It shows exactly what DSP has become. Quote, sadly, Michael, as much as I'd like to accept your $4 tip because I need it, what can I do? I'm just going to end up having to refund it, unquote. This is a person who makes roughly $10,000 a month. And here he is essentially telling someone to dox themselves for their $4 fucking tip because he really needs it badly right now. You can't define feigning distress any better than what you just saw right there. And then to show you how stupid NDO is, he resubscribed for the 50th month in a row while that was happening. Meaning he sees shit like this all the time and he just can't pick up on it. What do you even say? But let's go back to the beginning of the clip when he's badgering Michael about who he is. Quote, I got an unverified tip from Michael. Michael, who are you? Imagine you're a streamer and you talk to your audience that way. Somebody donates money to you and you know what happens to your fans when they give a little bit of information away. And you're asking on stream, Michael, who are you? Over a $4 tip, no less. Because as you heard him say, he really needs it right now. But don't forget, guys, everything you just heard is slander and misinformation. Yeah, so I got a $103 tip from a Bad Shark 90 but I'm not familiar with this person. But the tip is verified, so it's all good. Thank you to Bad Shark 90 for a $103 tip. It is legit. I'll read your message in a second, but let me get you up on the leaderboard as the top tipper, okay? Bad Shark 90.
Okay. And he says, keep the good keep the good streams. Very simple. Thank you, Bad Shark 90. Alright, so we are now at uh two hundred and two hundred and fifty five dollars in tips. Thank you for that, Bad Shark. Um SMR tad to me dollar thirty says just a tip. When the ball is hit, it is a good practice for the pitcher to be an extra body covering first or home to facilitate double plays and block turns. Thank you, because I don't know that. I don't know enough about Major League Baseball to know that. So I guess what I should do is if the ball is hit, I should try to run towards the base where the ball is headed or nearest to. Okay. Good. Um Pineapple Menace to me two dollars, and he said, It's been a while here. I have a can of Campbell's. Best of luck. Gee, thanks, Pineapple Menace. Appreciate that. Thank you for that. Um, NDO103 has tipped me $50. Thank you, NDO. It's good to see you, and I appreciate the support, man. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, Sambuca2020 has tipped me a whopping $100. Thank you guys so much tonight. This, obviously, here's the thing. I do not expect this level of support every stream. I know that. I know that I'm going to need increased tip support to keep going, but I knew, do not expect this level of support every night, Okay. But thank you so much for it tonight. So Sambuca2020 did a 100-bit cheer. Excuse me, a 100-bit cheer. A $100 tip. He says, hope you can relax tonight. Let this play out. It'll just take time. The sun will rise tomorrow and you're, you are healthy. You have a beautiful wife and a home. You have plenty of supporters. Excuse me. Uh, keep putting out good content and being you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Sambuca. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. That is $408 in tips now. Wow, thank you, Sambuca. So, uh, let's see here. So, John Ann basically says that Twitch apparently does have a, tw a tweet out from yesterday. That's exactly the kind of virtue signaling tweet that I just described. And says that he feels that that's why they, that I'm out of the partnership program now. I mean, again, John Ann. Now, here's the thing, John Ann. Even if that's the case, do you agree with that? Now, here's the thing. You don't even have to agree with what I said on Twitter. But do you agree... If this is what happened with my partnership being terminated because I have an opinion. Do you agree with that? Just think about that, okay? Um hey, John Man, another waste of skin subhuman that DSP and Wings both share. Imagine being a fan of two of the people with the worst reputations on the internet. Really says a lot about those people. But if we go back to the beginning, I can almost guarantee that first $100 tip that all of a sudden became verified was Timbo because he's a fucking idiot. He then gets a $50 tip from NWO103 and then a $100 tip from Sam Buka. Sammy Buka then says that Phil is healthy, a laughable statement, and that Phil has a beautiful wife, an even more laughable statement, and that Phil has a home, probably the only true statement in that entire message. But he also says that, quote, you have plenty of supporters and to keep putting out content and being you, unquote. Then why is it the same nine people that support him day in and day out, you fucking idiot? And if you don't believe me that Sam Buka is a fucking idiot, let's go back to a certain night, and I want you to see how Phil talks about him. And I want you to pay attention to the face that Phil makes at the end of the clip. It just shows how little he actually thinks of these people. And then I want you to imagine someone treating you like this, and you still coming back and giving them hundreds of dollars and kissing their ass. Sam Buka 2020 to me $4.20, and why did I get timed out? Sam Buka, I have no idea. Did you not see I was finishing a game? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know why you were timed out. How can I answer that question for you? You know the process to get a ban appeal. It's not to sit here and, and ask me on stream what's going on when I have nothing to do with it. All right? You can email me. You can talk to a mod. Like, like always. Good job, DJ. Oh, man. All right. I might have a time for one more match. Only 23 and 9 starting late. <laughs> well, NDO 103, please enjoy your final resub message. 53 months NDO had supported me. Until I got kicked out of the fucking partner program for absolutely no good reason. Thank you, NDO, for that support, man. I appreciate it. Good to see you today. Hey, good to see you, NDO. Enjoy your 53rd and final month of support on Twitch. Unfortunately, Twitch decided to kick Phil out of the partner program for no reason whatsoever, of course. And now he's out on the street looking for a new home. Let me get the little tiny violin out and play it for the both of you. All right. What's going on, NDO103? It's good to see you today. Today would have been NDO103's 54-month sub-anniversary. Sadly, because Twitch you know, got rid of my partnership, that's never going to happen. But I appreciate that, NDO. 
that you are such a longtime supporter, man. It's good to see you on the stream today. <clears throat> oh. Quote, sadly, because Twitch kicked, uh, you know, got rid of my partnership, unquote. No, you had it right the first time, buddy. They kicked your fucking ass to the curb right where you belong. Praise be to the overlords at Twitch for finally doing something right. That and accepting Tevin into the partner program. Praise be, blessed be thy name, and can I get an amen from the congregation of police? All right, you guys vote. We'll see what hat you want. Also, I received a $10 super chat from Damian Lopez. Thank you so much. To Damien. Oh, wait. He already did another super chat. This is a super sticker that was a picture of a controller with glasses falling onto its head. Like that. Pretty nice. So thank you, Damien. I just received a $50 tip from NDO103. Thank you to NDO103. So I should do this. Ready? There we go. It matched the animation. All right, cool. Thank you to NDO. That gets us up to $251 in tips today and climbing. Thank you so much for your support, guys. This is helping tremendously. As I told you, yes, the last week, support was actually quite slow. I really appreciate your guys' support. Wait, really? Derek says... That was from Release Day Unboxing, September 17th, 2013. Grand Theft Auto V Collector's Edition. Wow. That old. I didn't even realize it was nine years old. God damn. A nine-year-old hat sitting in a collector's edition that we're now going to use. So, by the way, this is trash. I'm glad we're getting some stuff of use. I really am. I was nervous we were just going to find junk, 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 and all trash. I'm very happy we're finding stuff of use. So. Hey, Phil. You look really cool there and don't look like a fucking Muppet at all. Good job, buddy. So that was obviously the closet cleaning stream, or one of them. But do you remember back to earlier in the video when Kevin Subhuman asked Phil if he could do a members giveaway? And Phil immediately said, what could I possibly give away? I don't have anything. And here he is pulling out a closet full of shit that took him multiple days to do, by the way. But he doesn't have anything he can give away to his fans. You better keep those wallets open, though, because you still have plenty more that you can give to him, you fucking walking, talking ATMs. And now we get to probably the most disturbing part of his section. As you can see, NWO uploaded a video two years ago titled, Will I Find Love? My First Tarot Card Reading. Now we're going to listen to a snippet of the video so he can give you context on why he did this. Now note that um, I asked the question of... Whether I'll find love in a year, in the context of how life is for me now, I am single. And I think most of my friends would agree that um, I'm fine being single. So that's the context around that. Okay, so now that you have the context, let's go down to the comment section and see what advice the Good Samaritans have for this gentleman. We start with the highlighted comment, and it's literally the first one you see when you open them up. We start with Flaming Nats. And remember, the question was, will I find love? Flaming Nats says, no, you won't. You'll be alone forever giving DSP money until you pass on and nobody will even notice. All right, first off, how dare you speak to him that way, you son of a bitch. We're off to a tremendous start. We then get another person who, I can't pronounce this name, but they say, hope you didn't pay for this tarot reading. That's money that could have went to DSP, idiot. Just some constructive criticism there. Golden Toad says, The cards say you're going to continue wasting your money on DSP. Sir Phil McCracken Von Beggington, what a great name, says, Right on schedule for the $100 dono for your muse, DSP. Next picture. Mex Tile says, Phil needs more money, help him. Shane says, Give DSP all of your money and get it over with. Ewayne says, You don't need the tarot cards to answer this question. Aces Win says, thanks for the $50 so Phil could turn into a begamon, a fool in his money or parted once more. Lord Priapus says, why don't you support a worthy cause like a homeless charity or women's shelter? Why do you choose to support a 40-year-old man-child who abuses and insults his fans? And get fucking Lord Priapus out of my chat, I don't want you here. Noel says, you own the trolls, big ups, and keep kissing Darkside Phil, you re-re. Ron Jambo then says, bruh, 
Those tarot card readings are scams, but I guess you don't mind being scammed since you pay up to your master. Jin, DoorDash, and WWE champions, you could be spending that money on yourself to better you. And no, he can't. Get the fuck up out of my chat for telling the truth. We then get to the final picture, and gaming guru, bless your heart for trying, sir. He says, Seriously, though, you're not a dumb guy, NDO. If you think logically, you really think DSP needs money every single day? He meets his goals. He exceeds his goals. But yet, every day he needs more. That's why people troll him so much. It's not that he simply just asks for money. It's the fact that he consistently asks even after getting thousands and thousands of dollars and then never recovers. It's always a black hole with him, and what trolls find funny is that people, in this case you, continuously fall for it. Come on, you have to know better. I will seriously have a civil conversation with you if you'd like about it. I'm not one to name call, etc., but seriously would love to talk with some of these people that give to the black hole and go over a lot of the data and facts. There is an amazing tracker out there that tracks every single tip. I think that gives a good insight as to what is going on. And again, prayer hands for gaming guru, but as you can see, no reply, no heart on the comment, nothing. They don't care. At the end of the day, it's almost like they want to be scammed by this guy. They have nothing else in their lives. No companionship, no friendship. I wonder if they even have family around them. Just somebody to slap them and try to wake them up so they can see what this guy is really doing. But it's like talking to a brick wall, man. What can you even say? And speaking of a brick wall, we move on to NDO's twin brother, the Brick Boy 103. Now, the first time I can find the Brick Boy on Pig Pig Go is October of 2017. So much like his twin brother, they've both been around for at least five years now. The Brick Boy is like half of NDO's age, which makes this situation even more fucked up. But let's take a look at the first clip and let's us see what we have got. Dang. Sergeant Wumi did a 50-bit cheer. He says, remember when there was only 150 Pokemon? Yep. Because I played the original Pokemon game. On Game Boy, uh, I had Game Boy uh, Mini. Is what I played it on. No, Game Boy Pocket. That's what I had, the Game Boy Pocket. And shout out to BrickBoy103, who just tipped me two bucks. And he says, DSP, I started watching your content a few months ago. You're now one of my favorite streamers and YouTubers. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, BrickBoy, for the tip and the nice message. Where is the Master of Arms? We're going to find out. He's over here fucking the maid. I'm sorry, what was that, Philip? You piece of shit. Because nowadays he won't go anywhere near something like that. Fucking cuck. But Le Brick Boy tips and says he's been watching for a couple of months and that DSP is now one of his favorite YouTubers and streamers. What a very nice message that makes me absolutely sick. Get the fuck up out of my face with this shit. Next clip. All right. It's stupidity. It's, it's utter stupidity. I can't believe these people are employed. I seriously can't at this point. They've done so many fucked up things to their site. How could anyone... How could the person who's in charge of YouTube... That woman, I keep forgetting her name. How could she be in charge when they just got sued and lost this insane lawsuit? She should have been shit fucking canned and got people in there to run the business that understand business. That will run the website properly, fix all the problems, have feedback from customers, do all the things every other business needs to do to survive. They need to do it, and they, they never done it. It's like they used to ignore this major thing of successful businesses. Customer feedback, abiding by the law, these things that are critical things for everyone else, they ignore it, and they think that they're going to be successful. It's just brain-dead stupid. Sour Patch each year. I'm done with the rant, by the way. I'm done with the YouTube rant now. I'm done about talking about those idiots. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, Sour Patch each year. He said, hey, Phil, the tractors are saying... Oh, I'm not talking about what the tractors are saying, dude. It's completely against the fucking stream rules. Are you an idiot? Why would you bring up things that are against the stream rules? The tractors say things every fucking day. That's insane and stupid. Why are we going to waste our time talking about them? I only say this every stream. Wake up. The Brick Boy cheer... Oh, excuse me. The Brick Boy resell for four months. Thank you, Brick Boy. Oh. Excuse me. I felt that burp coming. I wanted to slap it out of my chest before I continued. I killed Kenny 4x8 that a dollar tip says, come sit on Santa Phil's lap and talk about the first thing that pops up. There you go. Um. 
That's correct, PKD, who tipped me a dollar. This entire stream will be about me complaining about Polar Express and minor UI changes, not the other million topics that I've already talked about and had fun with my viewers about. I'm only talking about those two things. Oh, wait, it's called selective hearing because you're an idiot. Thanks for the dollar tip, stupid. Okay. <clears throat> what a nice, positive holiday message from a nice, positive person like DSP. This bankrupt piece of shit trying to tell somebody else how to run a business. Why don't you give him tax advice as well while you're at it, dumbass? But just another clip of him trashing his own fans. And then he wonders why they turn around and troll him relentlessly. Well, you get exactly what you deserve, buddy. It can't be said enough. Next clip. Third Eye the Third Tier again. I've seen detractor streamers get sponsored with free games. It's baffling literally evil people are approached and promoted, but the victim is, is disregarded like trash. What is the world coming to? Because the sponsor doesn't even look at that the sponsor looks at oh here's someone who has a viewership and they have a social media following and they're not constantly attacked by toxic people okay that's the, give them give them the game right versus someone like me oh my god he has a following his streams are positive oh wait he gets attacked on social media constantly fuck it we can't give him the game it's stupid but the truth of the matter is i don't look into getting free games anyway i haven't in years um so i don't really care in that regard anyway but you're right like these these companies are really ass backwards in that regard it, it just makes no fucking sense. If they actually knew <clears throat> the content that the person they were they were giving the, the sponsorship opportunity made, they probably wouldn't do it, but they don't look that deep into it because they're idiots. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> the Brick Boy 103. Uh, so resubscribe to the channel for five months. Thank you, Brick Boy. Go, good Game Goblin tipped me a dollar. Says, forget about the detractors. Let's just chill and play some Magic the Gathering. I'll start off by praying a red land, and then you tap... What? You tap... That to play a fanatical firebrand who attacks you for one damage. Your turn, bro. Wow, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about there, but thank you for the dollar tip. <laughs> I never played Magic. Um, Honest Fan Cheers says, just show us the elephant then, Phil. See, now here's the thing. There's no elephant. That's the point I'm telling you, Honest Fan. In my analogy about, oh, the elephant that's eating all the food in the house, there's no elephant. There's nothing to show you. So I can't prove or disprove because what they're saying is happening doesn't exist. It literally is the pink elephant. There's no pink elephant. But I can't show you a pink elephant because it doesn't exist. So there's nothing I can do to defend myself. And when I try to defend myself, it just balloons worse because people then latch onto other shit to make more negative. See? <clears throat> and here we go again with this shit. Isn't he doing this right now? By saying the mobile game shit isn't true because it doesn't exist? He's been doing this for years now. Yes, Phil, the mobile game shit doesn't exist. Just like the bankruptcy didn't exist. Just like the foreclosure didn't exist. Just like you didn't have a mod discord. Just like your bottom bitch mod wasn't on Kiwi Farms with a picture of your wife as their profile picture. Just like that same mod didn't dox Timbo, Anani, and tried to dox Goken. A person that you still welcome onto your streams, by the way. None of that pink elephant exists. We should just take your word for it. Sounds good to me. But then he goes on to say that other people get free copies of games and get sponsored because they, quote, have viewership, have a social media following, and they're not constantly attacked by toxic people, unquote. But when it comes to him, those same sponsors say, oh, my God, he has a following. His streams are positive. Oh, wait, he gets attacked on social media constantly. Fuck it. We can't give him the game. He just makes it up as he goes along. And no mention of all his racist shit in the past, all his homophobic shit in the past. Him attacking other content creators, game developers, and sponsors as well. Because he was worried about losing his house or because that was his depression. Remember that? No, none of that matters. They're just idiots because he said so. Next one's a cl Uh-oh. Somebody get Phil Smoke's crack on the line, please. Because we're about to have a good old-fashioned tip war. All right, so let's head back in here and let's see what we can do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a $25 tip from the Brick Boy 103. He says, loving the playthrough so far. Keep up the great work. Your streams are awesome. Thank you to the Brick Boy. I like that. I love that that spotlight animation. It's like Alan Wake. So the Brick Boy uh, 103. Thank you very much for the $25 tip. I appreciate that. That's going to jump us all the way up to $51 in tips. Which means now we have hit the first goal of the night and we are working towards the second for the second hour of gameplay which just began. And that means it is Gunner Glass's time. So thank you to Brick Boy for the very generous tip. I appreciate that. <clears throat> you think stinging at poker literally is all it'll take to beat me? Don't underestimate me, Yagami-san. Yeah. I'm not. Now let's do this, Hayakawa. Round two. 
All right. Now I received a $30 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. He says, oh no, I'm holding the leaderboard. I'm really ready for a tip war tonight. Phil Smokes Crack wants a tip war. He wants to be the top person. So thank you, Phil Smokes Crack, for a $30 tip. You are now the highest tipper of the night. I do not smoke crack, by the way. It's just the guy's name. He's fun. He's trying to be funny. And uh, <clears throat> thank you. $81 of tips. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Derek says, would I rather be pinned or tap out immediately? Huh? You mean if it was like a wrestling match and I were to lose a match, I would want to be pinned. I think tapping out sucks. Okay. All right, Derek. Shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I've had enough of you. When I first started, I was like, oh, I'm not going to say anything about Derek or make any videos on him. But that little fucker needs someone to teach him some rules or something. He's going to end up doing some really bad shit to some female in real life, and by then it'll be too late, man. But the first clip started with a $25 tip from The Brick Boy. If you notice, though, there was already a $20 tip from Phil Smokes Crack on the leaderboard. But then a few minutes go by, and we get a $30 tip from Timbo. Oh, I mean Phil Smokes Crack. I wouldn't want to give your identity away there, buddy. But he says he's holding the leaderboard and he's ready for a tip war tonight. All right, let's see what happens next. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, DC did a new, a new haiku, a stench haiku of all the lousy having to smell... No, having to smell like I smell like a skunk it reeks. <laughs> Jeez. All right, go wash yourself right now. That's disgusting. Um... Uh, Brick, the Brick Boy 103 tipped me $75 and says, you're on Phil Smoke's crack tip war. Well, I don't know who Brick Boy is, actually. I'm not, not familiar with Brick Boy. But that is pretty crazy. That Brick Boy just came out of nowhere with a ginormous tip, $75. And with that, that's going to jump us up to uh, $156 in tips. We've hit the tips goal for tonight. We absolutely hit the tips goal for tonight, which means you guys get both a hat and a vest. We'll do the hat pull first, then the vest pull. So let's do the hat pull first. Let's do it now. Phil Smokes Crack just tipped $100. I'm not even kidding. The pop-up isn't showing up. He just tipped $100. What the hell? Oh, uh, okay. Let me get the let me get the hat pull going. Yeah, he tipped 100 bucks. It didn't pop up for some reason. I don't know why. Um, So let's see. Ask a question. Which hat tonight? The clip starts with a subhuman doing his normal haiku. And by the way, DC, I'd spit in your face right now if I could. Fuck you. But then we get a $75 tip from The Brick Boy. And he says, you're on Phil Smokes Crack tip war. Within a minute, we get a $100 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. No pop-up, no message, just a $100 tip. And of course, Phil doesn't give two fucks about what's happening. All he cares about is how fast he can type out what hat and vest do you guys want? And hopefully he actually feels like wearing the hat and vest this time. Otherwise, you'll get treated like Kevin earlier. If you ask about it too many times. Next clip. Sometimes that seems to happen with bigger tips. I've noticed that. That all of a sudden the pop-up just won't show up. For no good reason. And I don't know why. But there you go. And, and I, I think this is all legit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy just did a $103 tip. And now the Brick Boy is the top tipper of the night. Well, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't even know, like I said, what's happening. These guys are in competition. The Brick Boy 103 didn't even say anything with that one. Just did a $103 tip, just flat out just dropped it. So now we're at $359 in tips for a Lost Judgment stream <laughs> out of nowhere. We went from $20 to $359. Who would have predicted this? So, all right, people are voting on the hat. Then we'll do the vest poll. But let's continue with the game. I lost. You remember our... We then get an immediate tip of $103 from the Brick Boy. No message or anything. Just $103. And if you go back and watch the clip, Phil starts doing something that he always does when people are giving him large amounts of money. Watch out for this next time. He starts to play stupid and he'll pull out the... Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what's going on right now. He'll then repeat himself over and over. I have no idea what's happening. This is crazy. It's all an act and it's fucked up. But he's just having fun, guys. Person's emotions. Oh my God, Phil Smokes Crack just tipped $120. Did you guys see that? 
Why Phil smokes crack? Why are your tips not popping up? It didn't. Did it pop up or not? I don't think it popped up. Right. Yeah, I don't know why. But he just tipped one hundred twenty dollars. But the pop up didn't pop up, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just gonna confirm. Yeah, it's real. Yep. $120 tip from Phil Smokes Crack, and he says, I am ready to whoop your ass. <laughs> so, Phil Smokes Crack, thank you. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. $120. Now the top tipper. We're up to $479 in tips tonight. What the hell is going on? This is insanity. I don't know what's happening. But thank you, Phil Smokes Crack, for the tip. And also thank you to the Brick Boy for the tips. I don't know if the Brick Boy is going to top that one, $120. But it's real. Okay, it looks like the Pilot's Hat has won. Now, here we go. Hidden ga Gem Gamers tipped me $10 and asked, Am I familiar with a YouTuber known as The Act Man? He's a talented gamer and video maker. He makes hilarious, informative content. We also have to team up with him about games or a podcast. I've never heard of the person. I don't know anything about them. Uh, nor do I doubt that they would want anything to do with me simply because of the people who stalk me and try to ruin my life. The Brick Boy 103 did a $150 tip, and he says, Nice try, Phil Smokes Crack. You'll have to do better than that. So the Brick Boy 103 is now the top tipper with a $150 tip. You couldn't make this up. I'm certainly not making it up. This is nuts. $150 tip. So that jumps us all the way up to five. No. $639 in tips tonight. $639 in tips for Lost Judgment. And the Brick Boy is now back on top of the leaderboard. But that's not all. Dick Dickerson tipped $3 and said, I don't give a shit who tipped the most. My name sounds and looks better on the leaderboard. Put me up there, please. And double goals. That means you have to wear two vests and two hats. Not only is that completely incorrect, there was no way I would put you up on the leaderboard with only a $3 tip. That'd be very disrespectful to our other contributors. But I do appreciate your $3 tip, Dick Dickerson. In the meanwhile, the Platinum Vest has won. He's like a crackhead, man. So in the first clip, Phil Smokes Crack, which, just a perfect fitting name there, tips $120. And there's no pop-up again, so this makes Phil a little suspicious. So he goes to check it on his phone. And all I can think about here is him seeing Timbo's name next to the transactions and not giving two shits about what Timbo's doing to himself. Just that he needs the money really bad right now. But then he reads out Timbo's message and it says, quote, I am ready to whoop your ass, unquote. Sounds like something a teenager would say on Xbox Live back in the day. He then ends the clip by saying, quote, I don't know if the Brick Boy is going to top that one, but it's real, unquote. But then the subhuman, I mean the Brick Boy, tips $150 and says, Nice try, Phil Smokes Crack. You'll have to do better than that. And there's DSP just egging them on, pretending he doesn't know what's happening, and just looking for his next hit. All right. Whew. So we're done. Now, actually, we legit legitimately are done. Like, the only other thing I could do is see if there actually is... Oh, my God. <laughs> the only thing I could do is see if there is actually... um. A mission for the skate club. If there's not, then there's nothing to do and we will advance the plot. Dude, there was another freaking tip from Phil Smokes Crack who just tipped $160. Not dollars, but dollars. And he says, man, I am not backing down. You're going to have to do better than that, homie. So that was Phil Smokes Crack. $160 tip. Oh my god. What is happening? 160, wait, 160. And that means we are up to $802 in tips tonight. 802. And climbing, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Like I said, the one thing I want to do, is, this is insane. The one thing I wanted to see, is there a mission for the skate club? And if there's not a mission to do, then I think I want to advance with the main plot. But this is out of control. John never says, make sure they're not scamming you. They're not. I checked. I told you. I just checked. And, uh, you know, they're legit tips. They're coming through. You know, there's nothing to flag them to say that they don't look real. So, you know. 
you know, keep in mind that doesn't mean nothing. Just because it shows as, oh, it's a legit tip, it's verified, people could still try later on to charge it back. The good news about that is I can fight it. It's a pain in the ass, but I can fight it, and I win it more often than not. So I don't think that this is just people. First of all, Phil Smokes Crack is a regular. Phil Smokes Crack is a regular attendee of streams and has tipped many times. He's not a troll. He's never charged back. He's not going to. He's, he's a nice guy. All right? The Brick Boy relative newcomer to the streams and i've never seen them certainly contribute this much before so we'll see what happens but holy crap right now thank you both phil smokes crack and brick boy for all the tips tonight phil smokes crack then tips 160 dollar ruse and says man i'm not backing down you're gonna have to do better than that phil then says that this brings a tip total to 802 dollars and climbing apparently sean michaels then appears in the chat and says make sure they're not scamming you phil and don't worry, Mr. Shawn Michaels, there's only one person doing the scamming here, and it's the one that looks like my Führer. But then Adolf says, don't worry, the tips are legit, there's no need to panic. He then calls Phil Smokes Crack a regular and a quote, nice guy, that wouldn't ever charge back. Do you think he's a nice guy, Phil? Do you think someone bankrupting themselves multiple times and taking out so many fucking payday loans just to prop you up on stream, does that qualify them as a nice guy? And considering you had almost the exact same situation when your bankruptcy was revealed, that must make you the nicest guy in the world, Phil. Isn't it Shawn Michaels? Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy 103 just did a $300 tip and said beat this phil smokes crack what the fuck is going on i have no fucking idea what's happening tonight the brick boy 103 1102 dollars in tips right now 11.02 tonight. Wow. Thank you, Brick Boy. <laughs> Holy fuck. That, you, got, you guys are absolutely insane right now. You guys are absolutely insane, so thank you so much. Tyrone says, why does the, why does the animation say it's only a $100 tip? Because I never foresaw people were going to be doing ginormous $300 tips, so we only have an animation that goes up to 100 That's why. And I certainly wasn't expecting it during a Lost Judgment stream. But I guess it is what it is. Like I said, any given night, seriously, on any given night, this kind of stuff can happen. It's out of control when it does. Like, holy shit. I never expected this tonight, but hey, I'm not complaining. Thank you for supporting this game. Okay. All right, so Lay Brick Boy comes back and does a $300 tip and says, beat this, Phil smokes crack. Phil does his stupid little laugh and says, Oh, you guys are insane right now. I have no idea what's going on. You already said that, Phil. Is the total fucking wine talking now? We then get, quote, on any given night, this kind of stuff can happen. Seriously, it's out of control when it does. Like, holy shit, I never expected this tonight, but hey, I'm not complaining, unquote. No, you're not complaining, Phil. What you're doing is taking advantage of a clearly mentally unstable person that doesn't have any self-control whatsoever. And the other one is damn near still a child. And trust me, we're still going to get to that part. DC, just did a, he's the last haiku for the stream tonight. Uh, he says, the dollar tip war haiku. Oh no, a dollar. Tip war has erupted in DSP's live stream. <laughs> Thank you very much, DC. All right. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the tip war is over, by the way. Because Brick Boy now has been here for about 10 minutes. We've got no counter from Phil Smokes Crack. And by the way, Phil Smokes Crack, I'm not asking for a counter. You were very generous tonight. Brick Boy is very, very generous tonight. So thank both of you for the support tonight. All right. Um, it. All right. Well, the Brick Boy tipped another twenty dollars, and he said, "Good game, Phil Smokes Crack. That was epic. Thanks again for all you do, Phil. Your streams are always super entertaining and fun and bright in my day. Thank you, Brick Boy. Yeah, it seems like Brick Boy, you won. Uh, Phil Smokes Crack did not counter your three hundred dollar tip. Uh, he seems to be chilling for the rest of the stream. Has not said anything." You didn't have to do that final tip either, but I appreciate it, Brick Boy. Thank you so much. So it looks like tonight, $1,126 in tips for Lost Judgment. Thank you, Brick Boy. Thank you, Phil Smokes Crack. Thank you to everyone else who contributed, but obviously those guys were the main contributors of tonight's stream. Thank you so much. Holy crap. All right. 
Of course, Brax is all a clever ruse, and he was hoping that you would leave so that then he could sneak back and get top tip when you're gone. Could be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's probably not the case. Let's save for the night. When we resume in a few days, we're going to just go right into this mission. And then we'll advance the story. So we'll do some, some other side missions outside of the school, thank God. And we'll do some advancement of the plot when I play this again next. Guys, obviously, tonight was insane. Thank you so much to everyone who chilled and people who supported. In particular, between the Brick Boy 103 and Phil Smokes Crack. Phil Smokes Crack disappeared. I feel bad because maybe he really was trying to, to hang and he just couldn't hang at the end there. So he dipped. But... Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everyone hanging with me and chilling and supporting. It was a great night, obviously. And there's going to be more Lost Judgment coming later this week. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Now, it was a great night tonight, obviously. So the first clip started with Phil reading another haiku from a subhuman piece of shit. But then he transitions into, yeah, it looks like the tip war's over. The brick boy has been on the leaderboard for about 10 minutes now. He was probably counting every second under his breath, watching his stream labs like a hawk. He then says, we've got no counter from Phil Smokes Crack yet. And by the way, Phil Smokes Crack, I'm not asking for a counter. You were very generous tonight. Really? Because it sounded like you were just counting the minutes in between tips, or did I make that up? But then the Brick Boy tips another 20, just to say good game, Phil Smokes Crack. That was epic. And that Phil's streams are entertaining. What was entertaining about that stream, you empty-headed fuck? Because all it looked like to me was you and a bankrupt individual throwing money at Phil and him pretending to not know what was happening the entire time. Phil then says, yeah, the brick boy, it looks like you won the war. Phil Smokes Crack looks to be chilling for the rest of the night and he hasn't said anything else. But then, of course, Phil just can't help himself and says, maybe Phil Smokes Crack was just trying to pull a clever ruse and was hoping the brick boy would leave so he could sneak back in and get top tipper tonight. He then laughs and says he was only kidding and that's probably not the case. Probably. We then wrap up that stream with Phil saying again that it was insane. But then he says that he feels bad for Timbo because Timbo disappeared and that he was trying to hang with the brick boy. But he just couldn't, so he probably left. And that's what you get, Timbo. That's what you get for all your money that night. Oh, I feel bad for him, but join me tomorrow night when we play more video games. And I tell you again how I badly need your $4.20 tip. And just put yourself in Timbo's shoes for a second. I didn't even bother counting how much it was. It was probably like 500 bucks that night. But there he is, turning the stream off all by himself. And the only thing that was probably going through his head at the time was how he can get more money from another payday loan place so Phil can just have fun on stream again. And I know there's some of you that are listening that don't follow this stuff as closely as some of us do, but that's no joke. He recently declared bankruptcy again. His documents are public and it's littered with payday loan places and credit cards. And for some reason, he thinks that if he just changes his username or tips anonymously and keeps on dumping money to fill, it's all just going to work itself out in the end and no one's ever going to know. That's Timbo's 10-year plan. And by the way, we're still not done with the Brick Boy either. The Brick Boy did a $2 tip. Thank you to the Brick Boy. Appreciate that. And an anonymous tipper to me $4.20. Says all these trolls creating new accounts to sub to your channel, they wait one day just to get banned. Seems like a waste of time. Oh, this is likely one person i'm not exaggerating there is one person who over the last six months has done this probably about a couple thousand times i'm not not exaggerating they've come you know done it 30 accounts in one night um as pathetic as that sounds <clears throat> they literally sit here and wait for a night when there's no mods or limited mods to do it too so they're like great a losers you gotta think a person like that, sadly, they need help, you know. Uh, someone like that, who I have no life, all I'm gonna do is stalk Phil's stream until there's a night when I can strike. This person needs mental health, and I, I wish they would seek out medical help because they need it, rather than just pretending like they're okay when they act like that. Here comes a new challenger. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in that clip, the Brick Boy tips $2. What the fuck is he supposed to do with that? It's not even enough to wipe his ass with. But another idiot likely Timbo, tips $4.20 and says, quote, all these trolls creating new accounts to sub to your channel, they wait one day just to get banned, seems like a waste of time, unquote. Phil goes on to say that it's very likely just one person doing it. He says that one person has done it a couple thousand times over the last few months, and sometimes up to 30 times in one night. I don't know, Phil, that sounds like a good Samaritan to me, buddy. But then he goes on to say that they are grade A losers. A person like that, sadly, they need help. They need mental help. I wish they would seek out medical help. 
because they're just pretending that they're okay when they act like that. Phil, let me ask you a question. Do you think a person needs medical help and mental help when they're going from payday loan place to payday loan place, maxing out all their credit cards, and then turning around and dumping thousands of dollars onto you? What would you say about a person like that, Phil? I have another question for you, by the way. What would you say about someone that's giving you twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars over a two-year span under hundreds of different names, role-playing like they're different people? What would you say if that same person doxed a bunch of your viewers and mods, Phil? Would you say they need mental help and medical help? Or how about a person that's barely an adult, and quite frankly, they probably have the mental capacity of a teenager still, but they think it's epic getting into a tip war over your video game stream? Would you say they need medical help, Phil? And don't answer that. Because we're going to look at the last two pieces here for the Brick Boy, and we're going to answer the question for you. All right, now we're going to take a look at the Brick Boy's channel here and read off his description. Now, this was probably written about two or three years ago, so keep that in mind. It says, hello, I'm the Brick Boy 103, and welcome to my channel. In a nutshell, I'm just a goofy teenager who loves video games and making YouTube videos. I upload high-quality gaming videos on a consistent basis. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. So he's just a goofy teenager that likes to play games and have fun. Gee, Phil, I thought you didn't have kids and teenagers watching your content, remember? Those aren't the kind of people that tune into your streams, and those are the kind that go over to PewDiePie. Don't you remember saying that? Now, we're going to end this with a clip, and this really doesn't have anything to do with Phil. This is more about the Brick Boy, but these are the kind of people that support Phil. Kevin Bernstein, NDO, and this fucking guy. Hey guys, what's going on? The Brick Boy 103 here again today, and welcome to a brand new Madden 20 series on the channel called QB Swap. So pretty much how this series is going to work is I'm going to be playing online matches of Madden 20 Ultimate Team, but there's a twist. In every episode, I have to swap my quarterback. And you guys get to choose who I swap my quarterback to. And I have to try and win with these awful quarterbacks you guys select for me. So uh, this is going to be crazy. I'm super excited for this series. This is pretty much my way of integrating Madden Ultimate Team. On what do you even say? Now, I don't blame him. You know, he's just a goofy teenager or whatever. And that's what goofy teenagers do, I guess. But these are the people that are drawn to Phil. These are the ones he can take advantage of. They just don't know any better, but this is who he preys on. And then he pulls out the, oh, I'm going to lose my house. I can't afford to turn on the heat this winter. I got to do a fundraiser to pay my taxes, but I also got to go across the country to see my parents the very next day and borrow money from them because I have a feeling they might be getting really ill. And then surprise, I got married, guys. Give me money. And it just never ends. And now he wants to do an interview to set the record straight and tell his side of the story. But instead of talking about yourself, Phil, why don't you talk about your pay pigs, the people that fund your entire lifestyle, the people that have gotten you to where you are today. But I bet you won't talk about them, because if you did, then you'd have to see which ones really need mental help and which ones really need medical help. And it ain't some good Samaritans. I can promise you that. All right. And that was to catch a pay pig part 23. I hope you enjoyed it. It took a long ass time to put together and it's why I don't make them anymore. But I'm proud I stuck to my word and finished this one. I'm not sure what the next video will be or if there will even be another one. But, you know, just in case there is, I will talk to y'all very soon. Thank you for riding with me. And as always, a less a fucking a go. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Keep it going, keep it going. Real talk, all right? Right now, I absolutely need help with tips. Again, please, if you can, please tip me tonight. Uh, tips have been slow recently, all right? So, if you want to help me out, please tip me, okay? So, please, if you can, please tip me this week. I'm just saying, tips would be preferred. Please tip me. Tipping is, I need help to pay these bills on Monday. So, please tip me if you can, all right? Now... Since tipping is so important, please tip me. So, um, what was I saying? I got distracted. Hold on. <laughs> oh, uh, tips. Duh. <laughs> um, the point I'm making here is if you would like to support the streams, please tip me. Tips are what I'm going to need right now because I get them right away. 